dressed up for the holidays or not getting dressed up? <laughs> you know, um, for me, um, I have so many different friends, in, including my family, that um, love to just be casual no matter where they are. So if they want to wear a really cool pair of jeans, they might put on a, um, a nice looking shirt and uh, they consider that dressed up. And, you know, maybe if you're lucky, they'll put on a uh, sports shirt. I mean, a, coat, a sports coat. But um, for me, I love dressing up no matter what. So <laughs> unless I'm like, I know I won't go over the top if I know it's kind of uh, casual, but I'll certainly put it in the semi-casual. But I think people should, for me personally, you know, dress where you're comfortable because if you go to somewhere and you're not comfortable in the sense of whether you're dressed up fancy or dressed or not and you're just casual, it's all about being happy and being who you are. So that's how I see it. Very true. Good points. And something else I think to consider uh, the, for the holidays, of course, here in the United States with Thanksgiving, there's a lot of food, right? There's right. plates and plates and plates of food. So what I like to do is I like to wear clothes that are rather fitted because this way I'm not going to overeat. But if we put on the yoga wear or the jeans that stretch, we could overindulge, right? Right. You know, I hadn't even thought about that. Hmm, maybe I should rethink what I'm doing so I can stretch <laughs> with the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the other thing is that, especially with turkey, I don't eat turkey, but uh, if we eat too much of the food, then we're so tired we can't even move so now we consumed all this <laughs> packed it in here the clothes don't feel right and we have no energy to even walk around and so it's siesta time right <laughs> 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 no, fashion absolutely. fitness and sleeping. <laughs> sleeping there you go no you know it's really interesting i was speaking to one of my family members the other night and i i love thanksgiving um i have a big family so um and then when you marry into our family it's like okay your parents everybody's part of the family so we might have 32 36, 40 people over for Thanksgiving at one of my brother's houses. And wow. it's just all this extended family. And now we're into like the third generation of little tiny children. And it's an absolute, absolutely blast because my brother's house can, his backyard can uh, handle, you know, 10 or 12 children running around, which is quite <laughs> lovely, right? So that is nice. Yes. And everybody brings food. So there is like, really celebration of the harvest and celebration of family. Uh, but, you know, I, uh, I might have to rethink about letting, not wearing that skirt so I, you know, can unbutton it. I think you just <laughs> did a great, a really great tip for everybody, actually. Well, something else to think about is if it's going to be outside, when you think about fashion and you put on heels and then all of a sudden you're sinking into the oh. lawn and then your heels don't look the way that they used to look. I actually saw in Shark Tank that there's some kind of invention for this. It's like a, uh, and again, not a paid spokesperson, but I'll right. give you my information if you want to. You, It's like a clear shield that you put on your heels so that you don't sink into the ground. But these are all things to consider. We want to look fashionable, but at the same time, we want to be able to function. Yes, that's right. And actually those... Uh, uh, hill tips, uh, everybody has a different name for them because there's uh, several companies out now. They really work. So, um, just good to know. I've never actually they purchased. really work. I, I wore them. Um, I very rarely wear spikes, but pop those suckers on and there was a big uh, giant uh, oil barons ball in uh, Dubai on the golf course. And for the first year, I did not sink in. <laughs> Woo! I love it. That sounds so exciting, Dubai and this major event. Yes. Really lovely. Yes, it uh, I, yes. Well, there's still time to go to galas. This is the gala season as we quickly approach the end of the year. And I know there's still some concerns people have about COVID, but people are getting out there. They are getting dressed up. They are going to functions. 
And I just love that because I'm all about getting dressed up. My big outing is going to the Spin for Cures events where I will be riding a bike for three hours <laughs> wearing logo merchandise <laughs> from Spin. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But you know what? What a great event. And, it, you know, it's part of fitness. So could you take a moment and share with them? Um, because we can uh, use more sponsors. And uh, what you're doing is beautiful. Fantastic. I will. And then we'll bring out our guests. Okay. So uh, the event is the Spin for Cures. It's actually Spin for Crohn's and Colitis Cures. So if you're not familiar, ulcerative colitis is something I've lived with since 1991. It's called the not sexy disease. It's called the bathroom <laughs> disease. It's, nobody's worrying about the work they're wearing at that time. Uh, so I have 16 inches of bleeding ulcers and uh, it's very painful. So I'm very involved with the foundation. I run a support group. I'm a team captain for the take steps for the spin for cures for the team challenge. I'm also on the committee for the gala and I'm also the, what am I executive committee chair for marketing and advocacy. And our event is coming up spin for cures. And I have to raise $15,000 with my team, Dr. J's colitis crew. And we're just under 11,000. Thank you, Diane, for your sponsorship. And thank You're you welcome. also for your generous donation for the auction as well. So if anybody wants to donate, I say this all the time and I'm totally serious. I don't know why people don't take me up on it. $1. If you can donate $1, it means everything. And I always remember, and you know, I'm always about helping other people. So when people s support my work, a dollar, I remember you, it means so much to me. So you go over to my Facebook page and you can make a donation there, or you can contact me. I think I have a link somewhere. I don't know. I can never find my own links, uh, but you could always email me. There we go. Jacqueline at drjacqueline.com. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for asking. All right. Let's bring out our guest. I had the lovely pleasure of meeting Claudia through Madeline Chan, my vocal coach. She's also an award-winning singer, songwriter, and producer. And Claudia did some wonderful work, Diane, which you experienced. Uh, she was an actress in some role plays that we've had, and that's the power of listening. She's fantastic. She's also a model. Let's bring her out. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you. Where are you joining us from today? So I'm joining from my amazing living room. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and are you in London proper? Are you in the UK? Yes, I'm in London. How are things over there? Uh, things in London are pretty much good. The weather is cold. It's not really so um, pleasant. I'm not so pleased to go outside and, and do exercise, but yeah, we make an effort. Yesterday, I actually bring my colleague. She's not used to do exercise and I push her into exercise. So yeah, really good. Fantastic. Don't push me. <laughs> I'm happy to receive anyone who wants to join me. I actually have my exercise machine uh, really over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very nice. This you and Dr. Is, Jacqueline. Uh, yeah, this, this is just an invite for everyone that is watching. Have your own exercise machine, whatever you're tired, front of a computer or from off the TV. Let's go and do some like spinning or. Now, Claudia, is that a bike or is it um, an elliptical? Elliptical. I Ellipt do believe uh, elliptical basically it works all uh, muscles on the mm -hmm. body. So mm -hmm. I think it's important um, daily exercise, um, not only for a physical aspect, but also because we work in the mindset. Our mind needs, we need to connect mind and body and everything should be in balance. I agree with you. Absolutely. And Claudia, as you know, this is uh, fashion, fitness, travel and leisure. So we're talking fitness right now, which is fantastic. So you're an actress and a model. What else would you like our audience to know about you? So I also sing. Um, so I when I was um, since uh, six years of, of age, I, I start singing and for different kinds of uh, audience. And I, I win a competition while I was in Portugal as the best singer and music lyrics. 
Wow, wow congratulations. congratulations. It's fantastic. Uh, uh, when we take a break, maybe we'll come back and you'll sing something for us. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I love to. I love doing that to people. I only had one time when somebody got mad at me. So, uh, but it's all it's all meant just to promote your work. So, yeah. Cloudy. One thing I just want to share with people is that uh, you did some amazing role plays. I basically directed you as to what to do. You were working with another actor whom you've never met before. And mm -hmm. uh, together you guys were really able to put together some quality work. So how was that experience for you? Uh, was, it's, really, it's really good because, um, you know, working with different people, um, we feel different emotions and it's just more or less like you use our creativity uh, of the moment to create something um, that could be uh, used and empower others to do the same. So uh, for me, it was really a pleasure um, working with Madeline Chan, um, working with Alex. It was really good, really, really good experience. Thank you. And Diane, you know Alex Kaplan. He also... Yeah was a part of it. He's a great person. Uh, Diane has also had her legacy of acting as well and being on stages. So Diane, what questions might you have for Claudia when it comes to uh, her career as an actress, where she wants to go? I think you asked the very first one was, where would you like to take it? And are you mostly a stage or film actress or musical? Yes. A screen, a screen um, film actress, I would film say. Are there any special uh, type roles you like, or are you pretty open to any type of character? I'm pretty much open uh, to any kind of characters. Um, otherwise, um, but however, I have kind of specific roles that would like to play more into action because I love fitness. So he actually uh, combines everything, all my passions, and also uh, drama, uh, more into drama kind of uh, film. Yeah, that's really fun. I know um, when I was younger, I kept thinking, oh, I want to play that sweet little girl next door role. But I discovered I was really overacting. <laughs> I needed to be uh, something totally out of character, like the Wicked Witch or the comedian, in order to be more truthful, because the girl next door was too much like me. So do you uh, find that there are certain roles that you have to make sure you can actually be very truthful to that role, uh, that it's not too close to who you really are? Um, Great question. I, I, I really love challenges and I actually uh, love to perform something that is completely outside of what I feel comfortable with. Me too. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I was just thinking about Halloween, Diane, you and I both got dressed up. You were a witch and I was Cleopatra. And I loved being Cleopatra because I, I've always had this admiration for her. But I think if I had to play something like myself, it would be awkward. It, would, <laughs> it yeah, is kind yeah. of strange. So, so um, I take it you probably have an agent and are working on not, things? Uh, not yet. At the moment, uh, I look for an agent. Um, and I look for more like collaboration work. Yeah, yeah those are always fun, right? I uh, do believe that in the industry is really hard because maybe now we are speaking uh, three of us, right? But most of the world doesn't know Claudia and doesn't know what I'm capable to. So at the moment, I just feel like I need to have the opportunity to show my talents and uh, really to grow in the industry because I, we, as a human being, we, we develop our skills by doing and mm -hmm. by challenging ourselves. That's why, I'm, you know, many times I call cloudy secrets because, you know, we are a secret of ourselves. We just know by doing and by challenging. Um, the same way we go into the gym, we are looking to a bodybuilder and we're thinking, oh my God, I cannot never do that. But by doing, they, with consistency, with focus, motivation, we're going to be there. So, yeah, it's just a matter of opportunities, self-belief, and also have a team with us, people that is free and is open to work with different ranges of actors. 
because, for example, I'm not a proper English speaker actor, but I do believe that the industry is now more open to different ethnicities, cultures and languages. So, yeah, I do believe like now is the moment to for different um, talents to be coming to stage. You bring up a really good point, which uh, here in the United States, there are a lot of uh, there are actors and actresses who are actually from other countries, but they speak English so well that you would have no idea. And then you see them on a TV show or a radio show. You're like, oh, I didn't realize they were from Scotland or Ireland, wherever. It's, it's, it's pretty amazing. I know. The TV show House comes to mind. I had no idea the guy was from Great Britain. And then I saw him on uh, Jay Leno and I was like, what? What? Where did that voice come from? And then he was uh, great at piano too. So you're right. But um, I think also, Claudia, you really, um, to extend what Dr. Jacqueline said, it is so beautiful how the world is coming together and, and appreciating and loving people from other countries. And you're blessed that you can speak other languages as well as English, as well as you do, since I assume you must have another um, a mother tongue. Yes. What is your mother tongue? Uh, Portuguese. Oh, Portuguese, I thought so. Oh my gosh, that's such an incredible country. It's so gorgeous. But Dr. Jacqueline, that has to be totally on your bucket list. All right, put it on there. Yeah, but um, uh, that's what I love about where we are in this part of uh, the world and this, you know, right now in this time frame is uh, loving people from everywhere and, and, um, and bringing their talents to light, so. And what is pretty much amazing in a human being is we can learn. There is no limit to learning. And, um, you know, I do believe that uh, we have to really go out from our comfort zone and uh, do different things. So uh, right now, uh, I'm also building my English and I'm very thankful to Madeleine Chan. She's not here, but she's been working with me uh, towards a proper English accent um, I'm working as well on American um, accent. So yes, obviously um, I'm capable to learn as well as many others that are not here, but I'm speaking from of, of them, you know, from, about them uh, right now. So um, yes, it's a matter of putting um, into, into action and use um, our capability to develop as a, as a, as a professionally um, me, myself, as an actor, um, as an actress. Very good. You know, Dr. Uh, Jacqueline, it comes to mind the power of listening because I, uh, I have tried, Claudia, to get that uh, proper British accent and you can just forget it. <laughs> I mean, I have tried so hard. But um, luckily, I am actually taking the power of listening and I'm hoping those listening skills um, um, click also into that ability <laughs> to get that proper British accent down. So, because as you just pointed out, Claudia, the American accent is quite different. And of course, uh, up north, they uh, speak uh, more like the Brits in some ways than uh, all of us down south, even though Georgia might be very different from uh, Texas. But Texas alone, the accents up in the panhandle is very different from the accent um, that w here in, let's say, Houston. And actually, my accent, I mean, I can put on a my Texas accent if I want to, but most people don't really want to listen to that Texas accent. But, you know, that's how a lot of people talk because that's we're Texans. <laughs> that's a first here, folks. You just heard Diane doing a Texas accent. I love it. I can say that I love uh, American accent. Uh, okay, I really love. And um, many, many Portuguese actresses went to America and they speak lovely American. Um, uh, and I wish I could have the American accent, but I think it's a matter of working out, <laughs> working out day to day and uh, listen. Even during the night, uh, we can put some headphones and actually listen because our subconscious minds will work on on it and uh, we, we're going to get even without um, you know our own perception but yeah subconscious minds is really important for us um, to work with and putting headphones even while we're working and doing something else or cooking for example so 
I like it. Yeah. Interesting. No, I really agree with that because um, when um, I need to really learn a song and I need to just take a break to give my voice a break, I'll uh, do some baking or cooking or something, but the song will be, I'll just play it over and over and over. And actually it's quite lovely because for some reason, as you said, the subconscious is taking it in. And so I get the rhythm. And then when I go back to it, especially a piece that might have a section that is like, am I ever going to get that section? And then all of a sudden click. And again, yes. it goes back to dun, 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 Dr. Jacqueline, the power listening. of listening. The power of listening. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Uh, so, Claudia, what I wanted to chat with you and Diane about, because I'm really not versed in this area, is what what is the process of getting an agent or getting a manager, getting work, and, and how is it impacted now with the pandemic? Are there more opportunities to audition and do things virtually? Um, myself, my experience uh, in, in England is uh, beforehand and to get an agent, we have to um, sum some credits and spotlight. We have the spotlight that is um, basically um, uh, I would say um, you just basically connect all the actors and all the professional actors together in one platform. So it's an electronic platform. Um, it collects uh, basically um, a kind of CV uh, of you know actors, um, relevant actors that have then something um, considered professional uh, within a field. Um, and also uh, IMBD. Um, so on IMBD, as soon as you are on it, like me, I'm grateful uh, to Raj, Rajas Rajilal, is a film director in um, England, um, a Bollywood produ producer. And in, I, I'm grateful that I'm already on IMBD and I was able to develop my IMBD Pro um, profile. And from there, after you create a profile, you can connect with uh, some agents. I still not have an agent because I'm still very new. I want to really build up my portfolio as, a, as an actress. Um, so I'm still pretty much new in the industry. So yeah, I'm, I'm open if anybody is watching to collaborate with any <laughs> uh, um, opportunities. I love that. I, congratulations. I was wondering how you got to be on that. What is it? I I M B I M B D I M B D. So you have to be nominated for that. Yes, yes, we have to be nominated. We have to do a proper relevant work. So uh, only a professional that is already in I M B D can actually add us. Hmm. Um, yeah. So it, it, it works by re reference and uh, and profile. Yeah. Okay. So, Love to learn new things. And we have a comment, by the way, from Andrea. I hope I say this right. How do you say it? Higya Wan? No. Andrea Any? IG Wan, I think. All right. Hello. Thank you for watching, Andrea. We'd love to know <laughs> where are you joining us from? If you want to put a follow up comment. Okay. We are going to take a break and guess who we're going to hear from? That would be Diane Floyd Bame. And we're also going to hear from the lovely Madeline Chan. So stay with us here. We will be right back. And anything that you want to share before we go, Diane? Uh, no, that's good. All right, Claudia? No. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for the opportunity. I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving day. And thank you so much. Uh, we're actually not ha we're not closing out the show yet. We're just going to commercial break. So you're still here. Okay, great. <laughs> right. right. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to Story Garden. Your host, Diane Bame. I'm so happy to have you here today. Diane Floyd Bame tells wonderful stories that warm the heart, spark the imagination, and unite people and families across generations. For children, Diane's Harry the Camel connects with all of us who've ever wondered how different our lives might have been if only we'd been born something better, like a wonderful horse instead of an ordinary camel. In the end, we all learn along with Harry that there's nothing better than just being yourself. 
Diane's little girl in the moon looks down on earthbound children and wonders if they know she's just like them. A story of love, home, and the bond between mother and daughter, its powerful theme that we're each of us different yet all of us the same, plants a seed in children that promises to blossom within a loving and trusting grown-up. Diane's new biography, Rise, recounts the experiences of her grandmother, Ruby, to reveal the hidden strength of the human spirit. Ruby's story inspires all of us to become the best versions of ourselves. You'll find all of Diane's delightful books and much more at dianefloydbame.com. Visit d-i-a-n-n-f-l-o-y-d-b-o-e-h-m.com. That's dianefloydbame.com. is wonderful every time I think of you you just fill my life and make my dreams come true I know I'll share my life with you words cannot express the wonder that I feel I'm so mesmerized by the love that's in your eyes my need of you is in my soul I love you I love you As I sing this love song for you Only for you Only for you Now we two are one Yet it seems we've just begun Time has sealed our love With such memories deep and true You live in me and I in you I love you I love you As I sing this love song for you for you, only for you. I won't let go of this feeling. I've no fears, I've no doubts. This happens once in a lifetime and will not be shut out. So I let my heart inspire. As I sing this love song for you as I sing this love song for you only for you only for you only for you only for you as I sing this love song for you
Wow, welcome back. Madeline Chan just rocking it out there. What a beautiful song. Woo! We are watching USA Global TV. <laughs> yeah. Listening from Business Talk Radio, it's fashion, fitness, travel, and leisure. My co host, Diane Floyd Bame, and our guest, Claudia. How do you say your last name? Makado? Machado. I really messed up that one. Machado. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, we were just talking about your desires uh, to move forward in your career. You're looking for an agent. You're looking for work. And uh, you're already quite accomplished. I had invited you to sing after the break. Are you going to take me up on that? <laughs> well, it, <laughs> that's right, Claudia. That would be you. <laughs> that's okay. I understand. Okay, is that a no? Yeah. I think so. Um, I can sing a bit. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, is is for singing now? Oh, sorry. I was not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll come back in chat. All right. Uh, while you're thinking of what you're going to sing, I just want to share a little bit about Madeline because obviously Madeline is an inspiration to you, Claudia, and she's also my vocal coach, and she's taught me to realize about masculine and feminine energy, which I really wasn't aware of. So as an actor, how do you manage those energies and how do you know when to tap into which one? Um, I don't have like a proper answer to that. I think I, I just go with the flow. Um, I'm very sensitive about everything around me and I try to use um, everything around me to make uh, to make a difference, to make a difference in any performance that I do. So um, every moment um, for me is going to give me a different inspiration to do something. So yeah, I I do believe like um, that we be we should be sensible um, about what is going on around us. Um, even for different actors, I do believe like we should really be connected uh, with the environment where we are who we are and who we we are with so i think this is going to bring a more genuine performance um and yeah is what really inspires me and is what really amazes me as well while i do some acting because uh, each moment is completely different and that's many times I feel like acting for me is a therapy, is an art, um, is, is, is something magic. It really transforms the human being and also is a door for us to discover ourselves, our limits, explore our emotions and is magic. Wow, I love that. That's really brilliant. Um, let me bring you back here. So I, I loved how you were sharing that because it, it kind of it touched my heart just thinking about where you are where you want to go and you obviously have so much to offer already what would you like people who have the ability to help you with your career know whether they're watching now or they're watching in the future um what i really would love to say is um i'm 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 a human being in transformation and as a cloudy secret, I'm happy to explore my secrets, my talents, and become the best version and the best professional in the field. So I'm open to work with anybody without limitations, and, and I'm open to challenges. So please let me know if you would love to work with me or any others. Uh, I'm open to offers. I'm open to opportunities. Thank you. And Claudia, we are streaming your updated banner. So if you could share with people who are listening on the radio who can't read it, what's the best way for people to get in touch with you? You've got a few social media. You've got your WhatsApp phone number. Where would you like people to, to contact you? Um, essentially via email and also my LinkedIn because I update my LinkedIn and I use as a way to connect uh, with people in different industries. And yeah, Essentially, LinkedIn and email, please. Okay, sounds perfect. I'm just putting your LinkedIn into the comments section. 
I, I shared this earlier that after doing this for a year of broadcasting, I realized that I can put everyone's contact information right in the comments and it'll be there forever instead of people trying to copy down what's on the banner. So mm -hmm. lo and behold, learning, learning mm -hmm. session for me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Jacqueline, for the opportunity. I'm really, really appreciated uh, for this. And yeah, looking forward to opportunities. And yes, I'm uh, I'm very grateful for, for today and to meet you, you and Diane as well. Um, it's been very touching. Thank you so much. Well, thank you very much. And thank you to Madeline Chan for introducing us. And if anyone wants to see Claudia in her fabulous role plays, you can sign up for The Power of Listening. And she's right there for part three. Also, I just want to add for anybody watching for the first time that you can watch all of our shows on 11 platforms. You can listen to them in addition to seven platforms. Mm -hmm. But I recommend going over to USA Global TV on YouTube and watching there because we have playlists. And so, for example, fashion, fitness, travel, and leisure, every show that we've done is going to be right there. So it's easy to find. So, Claudia, that's how you can find us. Or you can go on to Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Twitch, on and on and on. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you again, Claudia. It was great seeing you. I look forward to seeing you again. Thank, Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Well, she was delightful, and uh, she has so much talent, and I know she's going to be getting uh, some working opportunities coming very soon. I'm putting it out into the universe for her. Yes, and she's so beautiful and so honest, and I just wish the best for I know uh, the world is going to love her. Yes, a world of opportunities will open up for you, Claudia. There We're you sending go. it to you. <laughs> All right, Diane, you just had an incredible experience. You just published another book, and this one is uh, Amazon's number one new release. It's phenomenal. Rise, a girl struggle for more. You have really demonstrated your knowledge, respect, and love for your grandmother, Ruby. And so if you would just talk a little bit about that and where people can find your book, I would love it. Great. Thank you so much, Dr. Jacqueline. Hello, everyone. And thank you, Claudia. You were just amazing. Um, so Ruby is my grandmother, and she just led a beautiful life. And I found her to be such an inspiration growing up. But even though I knew a lot about her, and I actually lived with her as an adult while I was going to college for a little while, um, she did hide uh, some things, so my mom really helped me with the rest of the story. But I saw there was a need for people to embrace their dreams or even learn how to dream and be who they were meant to be and share their talent. So it um, historical fiction, um, it was a new genre for me to attack as a writer. And uh, I wrote Rise, A Girl's Struggle for More, which you can find on Amazon and before uh, stores as well as uh, Barnes and Noble and probably a local bookstore. Even have, I'm even on the Amazon in uh, the UK as well. But um, it's a, a lovely story about how she wanted to be a businesswoman and that was very unusual for girls born in the 19, early 1900s. But um, she was determined to do it. And how she went about it is just a real fun story uh, to read. And I think it will inspire anyone, man or woman. Thanks. And Diane, what's coming up next for you in terms of something else you've written? <laughs> so last night I was the book launch. I joined 10 other authors. And we wrote short stories for a holiday anthology, which is on Texas Sister Press or on my website, dianefloydbain.com. And the story I wrote was uh, King's First Christmas. And it's about a puppy and um, how we got the name King, but also how the word King and the name relates to uh, Christmas. So it's a beautiful, lovely story. And it's partially true because um, it was based on something that my uh, biggest, my oldest brother and my big brother, Danny, Chris and Danny um, experienced when they were um, kiddos. So that they were the inspiration of that story. And I'm, I, it's actually, I'm so excited about that story because I, 
I just kept going, oh my gosh, you know, I think Chris and Danny, they're in heaven now. Uh, but I think they helped me write it. So I just, it just really holds a special candle in my heart and I can't wait to have people read it. Wonderful. And Diane, the broadcast was actually rebroadcast last night, but where can people find it if they want to watch it again? Uh, you can, thank you. You uh, may go to my Facebook page, dianefloydbaim.com or on YouTube, uh, Texas Sister Press, for sure you will always see it there. And I think they're broadcasting it on uh, TikTok and LinkedIn. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, I just want to share that on all the social media posts, I have now put that Claudia is available for acting opportunities. You can contact her at her email address. We also have her LinkedIn. Uh, this is on all the platforms. Diane, I've got your information here as well. This is what I'm doing behind the scenes. You're amazing. <laughs> so, <laughs> You're so amazing. I, I want to say one more thing about Claudia before we go, if you don't mind. No, please go ahead. You know, um, uh, Dr. Jacqueline, it is hard to find an actress who is willing to take on anything and everything and willing to learn. There's uh, many people who are very uh, uh, adamant about this is the role they're going to play, or maybe they take on that role, but they're going to do it their way. And it makes it very difficult for the director to uh, um, tell the story that he's hoping to project it. And the mere fact that Claudia is so open to take on challenges and, as she said, to be uh, truthful and to learn is uh, something that most directors uh, really, really uh, look for. So I just want to reiterate that there is this beautiful actress that's willing to work with you. Absolutely. And, and not only is she beautiful outside and inside, but she's very heart centric. And I know mm -hmm. just from my limited experience as a director, um, <laughs> directing her in the role play, she was very open. We tried uh, some different things in the role plays and she was, OK, I'll try that. Yes, I'll try that. So she's very talented and she leads with her heart. So please do contact her. I will find the information. Here it is. Uh, you, she, you can email her. Her name is Claudia. It's C-L-A-U-D-I-A, -A, last name, M-A-C-H-A-D-O-E-N-F-E-R-M-E-I-R-A -E -E at Gmail. You can find it on all of the social media sites where our show is playing and will be played. Diane, lovely to see you. Excited to see you again in a couple of hours. We've got the United Kitchens coming up, which is our cooking show. We've got Simon McDonald, yay, he's so good from Scotland, and Ricky McKenna right there in the great state of Texas. And then mm -hmm. you and I are coming back, and we are interviewing the queen of, I know it's Feng Shui, I say Feng Shui, and her <laughs> name is Veritas Allen. So we look forward to that and to seeing you again in two hours. Okay, take care. Have fun. All right, everybody, see you later. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye Claudia. Bye.